Yeah, hey guys, Louie here, and I've had a few questions about the ebooks offering and shopping on eBay, and I thought I would just um, do a quick tutorial here on how to maximize your um, bullion rebates, uh, your rebates for coins, precious metals, bullion, and everything else on eBay. Um, which uh, I am a, a big believer in shopping on eBay. Uh, eBay is not just for used clothes and you know iPhones and and toasters and whatnot. Uh, eBay has really become kind of a go-to spot for bullion uh, purchases, and uh, of course many of the major bullion retailers uh, have a presence on eBay, and I think they use it um, to uh, liquidate inventory from time to time. In addition, eBay is a public corporation, and they have programs. Um, you know, they need to make make their earnings numbers and so forth. So from time to time, they utilize a program called eBucks to uh, provide incentives for buyers to go ahead and just buy a bunch of stuff on eBay. And sometimes those items are eligible in the uh, the bullion category as well. And I'll show you how. So what we're going to cover in this video um, is going to be, um, number one, how much can I earn uh, in rebates? Number two, how do I sign up? Number three, how do I um, get the e-bucks? And number four, how do I get the e-bucks multipliers upwards of 13%? My gosh. Okay, let's get going. Okay, guys, how much can I earn? I'm going to give you the good stuff right off the bat here. Here are my last few transactions. And... Um, Three of these transactions qualified for 13% e-bucks back through the bonus offer. Okay, so uh, those were a uh, tube of silver eagles, generic silver bars, and a really nice uh, American Gold Eagle MS69 in the slab. Um, and these were 13% back on these listings. Okay, so in addition to the 13%, I received my credit card rebate which uh, for me is 3.3%, and um, there was no sales tax, although I live in California, and generally they're, you know, they're pretty serious about sales tax. There was no sales tax and no shipping, and these, I believe they were all from really, really uh, highly regarded bullion retailers, uh, you know, not onesie, twosie uh, people. So uh, that's how much you can earn, and just imagine 13 to 17 percent cash back on a bullion purchase. Just amazing, and these were all uh, below spot as a result. Okay, so how do you sign up if you don't currently have an account? That's very simple. You'll need to do two things though. Um, so I'm on the create an account page. Of course, you'll need to put in your, uh, your details. Um, in addition to that, you will need to establish a PayPal account. Okay, and PayPal requires that you have a bank account and you link the two. You don't have to pay from your bank account, although you can, but you can also link through your credit cards to PayPal so that every time you pay on eBay, you pay through your credit card and you garner uh, those cash back um, incentives from your credit card. Uh, and I said, in my case, I link the eBay MasterCard and get 3.3% cash back. And uh, that's all pretty self-explanatory. I won't uh, um, stay on this for long. Uh, some people uh, do multiple accounts. But if you have multiple accounts, you probably need multiple PayPal accounts. Or um, eBay may catch on to that really quickly. Uh, some people have uh, accounts with all their family members. And when uh, these, uh, these incentives are released, um, they can really multiply um, what they're able to get. Because, um, you know, bullion under spot, there can be limitations um, from e-bucks and from the seller in terms of how many times you can access that. So you may want to consider multiple um, accounts. All right, now after you have your account, you're going to want to go to your summary, my summary page. And under that, you will look for um, the, uh, the tab called eBay Bucks. When you get into the eBay Bucks category, you're going to want to select the flags that activate eBay Bucks and indicate that you're interested in all promotions and you're interested in being offered eBay Bucks. 
All right, that will put you on the path to being offered them. It doesn't mean you will be offered them right away, but um, you know you have to set those flags to yes. And you may get some annoying emails, but I suggest uh, indicating you're open to all eBay bucks and eBay promotions. Uh, the way it works is that for three months you will earn eBay bucks from one percent standard eBay bucks all the way up to 13%, which is the highest I have ever seen. That's 13% eBay bucks back. And then uh, at the end of the quarter, um, they will put that money into a certificate. They will issue it to you, and I believe you have 30 days to spend it on anything on eBay, from coins and bullion to toasters and iPhones and anything else you might want. So it is so close to cash. Um, you can easily convert um, the e-bucks certificate into tubes of silver eagles or sixteen, fifteen dollar an ounce, fourteen dollar an ounce silver. Um, so I consider that like cash. Okay, in terms of what qualifies for eBay for e-bucks, let's say you've gotten your certificate, you're ready to pick something. I'm going to go through this really quickly, but very quickly, um, items in the coins and bullion section do not qualify for e-bucks ever, right? So you may want to buy this $340 roll of American Silver Eagles, but this one is listed under bullion. So when you're looking for things that qualify, you're looking in the coins and paper money section. And what I do is I go, it's not that easy to do, but you go into coins and paper money, then I would typically, if I was looking for Silver Eagles, I would look for U.S. coins, and we'll be there in one second, see all U.S. coins. I would likely click on the dollar button, and now I am still in the, uh, the eligible um, e-bucks category, but um, from here, you want to be careful how you click because they will revert you back to the bullion category. So what I would probably do here, uh, let's see if this will work really quickly, um, I would probably go down to the range uh, money and I would probably indicate 300 to uh, 370 dollars as my range and uh, I might type in the word roll or tube but uh, then I would just kind of go through and look for rolls or tubes of silver eagles. Let's see if we find um, uh, we could type in the number 20. I'm going to search for just the number 20 here but I don't want to get kicked back to the bullion. See, it? I did that, and it, uh, I believe it kicked me back to the bullion section. Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's see if this worked. Um, so, uh, well, here's some peace dollars. Uh, I think I've had this ad uh, before. And is it eligible? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, we're currently on a 1% e-bucks, so we're back to square one on this. But um, So you can see how attractive... Um, a tube of peace dollars would be at $320 uh, minus 13%, right? I mean, let me show you that math really quickly. Uh, 320 times, well, I also get 3% on my uh, MasterCard. So uh, if you could get 16% off, that'd be times 0.84. 268 dollars divided by 20. And there you're at 13.44 for uh, peace dollars. Um, so you can see how powerful that would be. And this would be one way that I would search through the eligible U.S. coin section. You can do this for British coins, Mexican coins, etc. Uh, typically, I look for tubes, but you could look for anything. So there is an example of how to avoid the bullion section. If you just type in silver eagles, like tube of silver eagles, you couldn't see that, but that's what I typed in. All right, here's a big uh, supplier, Tube of Silver Eagles, $363. And this one is in the bullion category, so uh, it is not eligible for ebooks. Okay, so that's how that works. And uh, But to generally sort through um, the full population of uh, the coin section, um, and uh, I think you'll find what you're looking for. All right, one second. <laughs> Okay, so the most important question, how does eBay select who they offer the um, Ebates deals to? Of course, the 1% is always there if it's uh, Ebates eligible, but how do they pick people and how do they pick accounts 
to offer the three times, five times, eight times, ten times, and now thirteen times uh, ebooks on the mobile app. Um, so um, first of all, do um, do use eBay for general purchases. Uh, stuff is really inexpensive there, and I think it's way cheaper than Amazon for most things. Um, you need a seller with near a hundred percent feedback, but um, buy some things on um, eBay from time to time. Uh, both in and out of the coins category, and I think you will be recognized, um, you know, more often uh, as uh, as somebody who is active in um, in eBay. Um, if you're doing that from time to time, you're a regular eBay user. Um, what I like to do is load up my cart. Okay, um, I'll show you a picture of my cart here, and I can keep, I don't know, 20, 30, 50 items in my cart. I try to keep things in there that are both coins and bullion related, as well as electronics and maybe clothes and dog toys and whatnot. Um, if they're things that you're genuinely, genuinely interested in, um, by putting things in your cart, um, sellers will often uh, give you, offer you um, um, a discount um, for something that's in your cart. They know when things are in your cart and uh, you may find out, wind up getting some discounts as well. But I think uh, eBay may see you as an interested buyer and want to prompt you to buy if they see things in your cart and they do see that you uh, generally are shopping uh, on eBay. Uh, some people say lack of activity uh, may be the way to go so you want to buy a few things and then not buy something for a couple of weeks. But generally, I, I buy a lot of stuff on eBay, and I get these offers all the time. I keep stuff in my cart. Okay, and um, now how to get the 13% the mobile app. Okay, one second. All right, let's say that you are signed up for the regular website-based program, the eBucks program. My recommendation, uh, if you did not get, and even if you did get the recent 13% deal, is to not sign up for the mobile app. Okay, whether that be iPhone or Android, um, I believe that they're trying to encourage people to obtain the app. And once you've gotten the app, they ha they would have no reason to give you that uh, that giant um, a multiplier again. And I literally I had the app. Uh, one reason I think this is true is I had the app before this great deal, and I used it, and I didn't like it. Um, because they were sending things to my business name instead of my home name, and it got all fouled up. But um, I didn't like it, so I deleted it. And sure enough, I got that 13% offer, um, which for me meant reinstalling the app. So my best advice to you is do not download the app, or if you have downloaded it, delete it, and wait to see if you get another 13% offer. These 13% deals are literally the holy grail of stacking, especially with um, silver like down in the dumps where it is. So, um, you know, keep some dry powder. Um, I didn't have enough to really access everything that I could have accessed at these great prices, but um, I did participate uh, quite a bit. Um, but uh, don't download that app. Delete it and see if that gets you back to the 13% offer. If it comes once, it'll come again. And I suspect eBay is um, somehow trying to pump up their, their revenues and whatnot. You know, this money that they give away, it's, it's generally coming out of the eBay fees. So, you know, eBay can charge upwards of 10% um, fees. And, um, you know, that goes to pay for these promotions, right? So the seller does not have to pay this, which means that you can get some really good stuff at a price the seller can live with, and then you'll get it net of those huge discounts, and eBay will eat the difference. Um, and that's partially what these really high eBay seller fees are paying for. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's my advice. Uh, if you want to download the app, you know, once it is time, uh, easy enough to do in the App Store or uh, on Google. But uh, you know, go ahead and delete it if you've got it and see if that gets you another 13% deal. Mm -hmm.